Hi everybody, this is Mr. Roche. We are here trying to get friction to work with our um, game, okay? And what we did was we set up a, a variable. We're in the puck class, so I need you to work in the puck class, okay? And the assignment tonight is to get the puck to move with friction. So when you start the game, the puck should go and like slow down, basically. And then what we're going to do is going to hook up the, the, the paddles to that, okay? So what we did was we... Um, you don't need this. We're going to go with the PD friction factor because we proved that using a double with some ints will be okay. And that's what we kind of proved to ourselves yesterday, which is cool. Okay. So um, what you need is you need um, uh, this friction factor. I called it the PD friction factor in honor of PD. Um, but, but you can call it anything you want. Okay. I just need to know what it's called up here. And it has to be declared in the top data section of the puck, okay? All right, so roll down here to move puck. What you need in move puck is you need a call after you set the speeds, okay? It can be kind of any place down here. It can be after the bounces. It doesn't really matter. It's not, it's not really related to bouncing. It's about friction. So um, I made this thing called deal with friction in a PD way. It's a call to a method that's going to be here, okay? And all we're going to do in here, this is easy because, because we're using the, kind of the PD method for this, okay? We're going to say that x speed is going to be affected now by friction. So it's going to equal the old x speed, okay? I'm going to write it out this way too because I think it's easier to do for us, okay? Times um, uh, the PD friction factor. And I'm going to go up and copy that. Uh, where is it? Copy the name of this variable. Right, I'm going to copy that. I'm talking this variable, so I want to make sure that the thing knows about this variable. Okay, and I'm going to say this. Okay, and I'm going to say y speed uh, equals y speed times the, um, the same thing, the PD friction factor. Okay, I'm still getting an error. Okay, see that? That's sort of a problem. It can't convert from double to int, which means that when a double's present, when you're doing like multiplication, it's going to change this whole answer into a double. And the same thing for y speed. And the doubles can't go in here. Okay, So we can fix that by um, doing a cast conversion and making the double that comes from this, this operation become an integer. Java cares about data types. And, you know, it's an important thing. Okay, So with that going on, everything's kind of cool. Okay, And that's all I think that's all we really need to do to get the friction thing to work. Okay, and friction will work on both x and y speed at the same time, and that seems like fair and like follows physics. Everything's great. But now what we need to do is we need to be able to sort of test this out, and we can run this through air hockey. So I need you to make um, a couple of new of new um, accessor methods. Okay, and here's how you're going to do this. You're going to say public void set x speed like that and we're going to send it an integer like the new speed okay and you guys know how to make accessor methods okay and um, we're just going to say x speed equals the new speed okay simple as that no problem right okay and then we're going to go here and make another one i'm going to paste it and do it for y speed okay so it can be a new speed variable it's the same and then we're going to say y speed equals the new speed. So now I have um, not a couple of them. There's a couple of them right here. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Okay. And this this ties into our whole um, system of moving and running on the on the on the rink and stuff because the rink moves the puck. And so every time you move the puck, you're going to deal with friction now in a PD way, and we're going to um, be able to set our x speed and y speed. Okay. So then we're going to move over to air hockey in a second, okay? Now I'm in um, air hockey, okay? I moved from um, puck, okay? I was in puck, and I made my accessor methods, and I dealt with friction. And I'm going to go into air hockey. And what I'm going to do is um, air hockey creates a puck, okay? Up at the top of the class. It owns air hockey. This is air hockey. Air hockey creates a puck. And then it creates two paddles, okay? And 
Um, what it does then is when you call the constructor, so you need to get to the constructor for error hockey, okay? We, here's, here's where we actually create the puck, okay? After that, we create the whole bunch of paddles and we get things to go and stuff like that. But right here, we create the puck. And what I want to do right now is to test this out. I want to give the puck a speed. And what I want to do is call up, like, for example, the set x speed, okay? And I'll set this equal to, I don't know, like 10 right now, okay? And if it'll do this, what happens is if I run it, it'll create a puck with some speed and the, the puck will, um, will just kind of fly out. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, sorry, here we go. All right, there it goes. See how it moves a little bit? That's good, and it slowed down and stopped. That's good. Let's try this again with like a, a more substantial um, speed. And if you wanted to, you can try it with a Y speed too. I think this will work. So it's going to go kind of... Um, off, you know, like down low. We'll set it up to like try negative or something. See if it works. Okay. Let's see, there it goes. See, it's bouncing around and then it will stop. Okay. And that's pretty good. Okay. So that's, that's the kind of behavior we want. What I'd like to see is I'd like to see your pucks doing this. So if you can um, give me a, re a recording uh, of a minute, that would be great. And also if you can show me the code and explain what you're doing okay I want to see like show me this like in the movie and show me the um, well I want to do that um, you know show me what you did in the puck so we get this going okay we want this kind of um, we want to try to do this in a simple way PD way is good I like it a lot it seems to work with the data type things um, and that's great so let's do it okay so thanks and talk to you later